So here we are guys, Flo's Farmhouse Cafe, City of Riverside. So this was a great find guys, really really nice place right off of Van Buren Boulevard. Uh, just really enjoyed it, outside looked really nice, inside big, warm, cozy, you got some seating in the front, plenty of room, love this American flag on the wall, but check it out, just nice, clean, great little spot. Not only do they have breakfast over here, guys, they also have a very, very nice lunch menu. Uh, not to mention uh, some great burgers. Their burgers are huge, huge burgers. They have a jalapeno and cheese burger. Mmm. A Hawaiian burger. Garlic chicken mushroom burger. Come on, guys. And the burgers are not small little burgers. They're going to fill you up, guys. Uh, so they have a good lunch menu, a good dinner menu. They also have a nice, healthy eating light menu for dinner as well. Uh, some seafood items and also some Mexican specialties. Uh, beef or chicken enchiladas, quesadillas, nachos, chimichangas, chili rellanos, cheese enchiladas. Um, so really, really good stuff, guys. Flo's Farmhouse off of Van Buren. If you've never been here before, guys, come check it out. Um, if you're a chicken fried steak lover, just come here for the chicken fried steak, guys. Just come here for that. If you love chicken fried steak, come here for that. But they have many, many, many other items on the menu that taste really good. Not to mention all these cakes and pies. Especially for the cakes. Shimmy. Shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, this is so cool. So I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm watching how they're preparing all the foods. I'm watching them chop the sausage and stuff. Uh, just really, really cool. Very kind and nice of them to let me come in back behind here and check everything out. You gotta wear the mask because of course I'm in California. Uh, but yeah, very excited to see what kinds of foods they pop out. Check out this biscuits and gravy, the chicken fried steak. Uh, they've already prepared a, a couple plates really quick for the, for the people out there. Everything's going at a fast pace. Looks really good, guys. Look at the size of this sausage he's cutting. Have you ever seen such massive sausage? One piece is for one meal? Are you kidding me? That sausage looks ginormous. OMG. And of course we have a waffle maker for your fresh waffles. Yum yum. And right here he's just preparing some ham for the day. Uh, slicing out the, the sides of it. Looking good. Fresh. Good quality. Juicy ham. Loving it. Over here we have the cooking section. Uh, they're just preparing a couple items real quick for some of the people out there. Check out this sound, guys. Freshly made chilaquiles. Yummy. Here it is, guys. Take a look. Fresh, fresh biscuits. Oh, I love fresh biscuits. Look at how nice and soft they look. Yes, put that gravy on there. Put it on there. Get it on there. And egg whites. Club sandwich with fries. Big old fat pancakes. And if you want your home potatoes, they got those too. Check out the chicken fried steak. All the preparations of the food going out. Everything looks good. Totally amazing. Here's me being a dork. I'm ready. Okay, guys. It's finally time to eat. I'm excited. I'm hungry. There's so much food going on on the table over here. Thank you, sir. Got some fresh hot coffee going on. Uh, my food's probably not the most hot, but I'm sure it's still pretty warm. Uh, so the first thing I want to say about this restaurant is I really like the fact that they have flavored creamers. Um, just those little small things make a big difference. 
I went to McDonald's the other day, and let me tell you, after 40 years, they still only have half and half. Only half and half. They have no flavored creamers. That's why their coffee sucks. I like the flavor creamers, the French vanillas, the hazelnuts. I gotta say probably a hazelnut's my favorite. But anyways, flavored creamers, definitely a thumbs up. They also have a couple different types of hot sauce. They have tapatio. Um, they also have cholula and Tabasco. So three different kinds of hot sauces for your meal. So that's really, really good. Um, I opted not to go with the potatoes. I uh, showed you guys a picture of the home potatoes in the kitchen, but I just can't eat all those carbs. The pancakes are enough for me. So anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to stop talking and we're going to eat some food. There, this butter's warm. Nice, soft, really, really nice. Oh, wow, that really nice looking butter. I'm gonna give you guys a shot of this once I'm done preparing this. I'm so excited, this looks amazing. It looks amazing. You know I'm gonna do the shimmy dance today. If this chicken fried steak tastes half as good as it looks, I am doing the shimmy dance just for you guys. There. We're gonna glorify these pancakes. They deserve their own stage. Yeah. Sugar-free syrup, guys. Can't go wrong. Over here, guys, we have five egg whites. We got spinach, we got peppers, we got onion, we got tomato. It looks really, really, really good. So we're gonna take a bite into each one of these and uh, we're gonna have a great breakfast. Okay hey guys, so I got the small portion of the biscuits and gravy. Uh, looks creamy, delicious. Fresh biscuits, uh, they're making these biscuits right out the back, guys. Like it's it's really, really quick. They look steamed, hot, looks really good. This is the chicken fried steak I'm so excited about, guys. Very, very excited about this one. Um, you can see it just totally covers the whole plate. There's my hand, okay? So let's compare it to my hand. So pretty good size, wouldn't you say? We also got some good looking fluffy pancakes. Of course, I got the sugar-free syrup because I can't have all that sugar. But the pancakes look really fluffy. I went with two uh, with some really soft butter, which is nice because if you have the hard butter on hot pancakes, the butter's not gonna melt. So they give you the soft butter. So it just blends right into the pancake really well. Look at those pancakes, guys. Have you ever seen something so delicious? And it's guilt-free. It's sugar-free syrup. Oh, this is going to be so good. There's the gravy for the chicken fried steak. I opt to have it put it in a cup because when you put it on the chicken fried steak, it makes the chicken fried steak a little soggy. It's not crunchy anymore on the outside. So I like to be able to dip my chicken fried steak into the gravy. I'm ready. Got a knife for the chicken fried steak, a special knife just for the chicken fried steak, not for the pancakes, just for the chicken fried steak. We got a regular knife for the pancakes. So let's have some of these pancakes. So let's give these a try, guys. It looks good, it looks fluffy. Pancakes. Good pancakes. Good, not too chewy, fluffy. Nice color on these pancakes. Butter makes it nice and just delicious. Syrup, mmm, yes, very good. Okay guys, there's the five egg omelet. Five egg omelet guys, lots of vegetables in it. I'm eating healthy this morning. Got a good idea. Let's put some of this gravy on the eggs. Yeah. That'll put it over the top, guys. Alrighty, so let's try it with the gravy on top. The gravy on the eggs. It looks good. 
Mm. Nice creamy texture. Taste a lot of the spinach. Definitely has vegetables in it, that's for sure. That's what I gotta eat. How are you on grapes? Nice for egg whites. Of course, I am missing the yolks because I'm fat, but yeah, very good. So let's check out the biscuits and gravy, guys. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah. I love biscuits and gravy. <laughs> So this is the small portion, so it's only two biscuits. They're smaller biscuits, um, but they make them fresh right out of the oven. Uh, so I'm excited to try these. So here's a biscuit with gravy. Hopefully you guys can see that without me spilling it. Biscuits and gravy, guys. It's hearty. It's filling. What you want to have to jumpstart your day, give you that fuel for the day. Like this is going to work. It's either going to give you that energy all day or it's going to put you to sleep. Mm. Very good. So finally, guys, we have arrived. This is the big enchilada. This is the main thing I came here for, the chicken fried steak. <laughs> Chicken fried steak. I'm gonna taste it without the gravy. Chicken fried steak without the gravy. First bite. Guys. I love, love, love this chicken fried steak. I'm not just saying that because I love chicken fried steak, but this is the go-to over here at Flo's. This chicken fried steak is juicy, it's soft, but still meaty. The coating on the outside is crunchy. It's not overcooked, it's not undercooked. It has a nice light flavor to it. Like you can actually taste the flavor of the chicken fried steak. Wow, I'm really impressed, guys, with this. I mean, I thought, okay, it's chicken fried steak. You know, just like all the other ones, it's probably just going to be bigger. No, this chicken fried steak is really, really, really good. I would definitely come back every time I came. I would definitely come back and get the chicken fried steak. Okay, so we're going to put some gravy on it. And we're going to see how much it changes things. So we got a little bit of gravy on there. The gravy is good. I don't know, honestly, I might like it just plain without the gravy. Like that's really good. And of course, I'm gonna put some, my best hot sauce, tapatio, a little on chicken fried steak. A little in my gravy. A little on my eggs. Look, I'm not even looking. <laughs> put more on my eggs. Put some on my biscuits too. Couple, couple drops on the biscuits, guys. I almost forgot to do the shimmy for the chicken fried steak. Let's do the shimmy. Let's do the shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Coffee with hazelnut creamer and sweet low. Okay. No coffee. What? Not bad. And I noticed he left the coffee. He left the coffee pot for me. How cool is that, guys? Awesome. I'm gonna eat all this food and I'm not gonna bore you guys by watching me eat it all. But let me just tell you guys, I'm really happy with the chicken fried steak. I would definitely come back and recommend the chicken fried steak for people. Like this is definitely a go-to. Pancakes are really good. Uh, I like the egg whites. Biscuits and gravy, always a go-to. Food Traveler in the IE guys, I gotta give it a review. As far as a nice, good country home breakfast, 
chicken fried steak, fluffy pancakes, eggs, biscuits, price wise. I would definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want my, my rating 1 to 10, send me a message. Hey guys, so I just finished that delicious, delicious breakfast, country fried steak, pancakes, you name it, so good. So I wanted to show you guys something special, a nice little treat for all you guys. They specialize in cakes and pies as well. Take a look at that. Tell me you don't want a slice of that after you feed your face with breakfast. After you eat those eggs and pancakes, who doesn't want a nice piece of chocolate cake? <laughs> Look at how big and thick that chocolate cake is. Just want to eat it. Very, very good, delicious looking cake. Mmm, so good. Guys, star of the show. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. This thing is a mile high. Triple layer strawberry shortcake, guys. Delicious. I saw it earlier when they had a piece cut out of it. Oh my goodness. If you love sweets, this is so, so delicious. Guys, come on down. Try these desserts out. Guys, coconut cream pie. Coconut cream pie. Bigger than my head. Bigger than my head. Oh my goodness. I know you want a piece of that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you some more pies. They, they specialize in custard pies. They have a millionaire pie, a cherry pie, a apple pie. You name it, a, a blueberry, a berry pie. They just look delicious. A pecan pie filled with pecans, filled with pecans. Guys, check out these pies. Just delicious looking. You can come over here, enjoy those pies after breakfast, enjoy the pies after dinner. Just have a good time, feed your face, get fat, who cares? Banana cream pie. Oh, I love banana cream. Check this out. A lemon pie. Doesn't that look good? Something different. I believe this is a chocolate mousse pie. Oh, you know that's going to be delicious. And check out this pecan, 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 pecan pie. So many pecans on this pie. OMG. Delicious custard pie. Yes, a specialty. One of the rare custard pies you'll ever see. And check out this apple pie. Oh my gosh, the flakiness. The, just the outside of this apple pie. It's ridiculous. I loved this pie. This is their berry pie. Great signature pie. Man, this looked so, so good, guys. All right, guys. That's the pies and the cakes. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Christopher with Food Traveler and the IE. If you liked this video and you want to see more videos, please click on that like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos, hit the bell notification because that way you can see so many more great videos like this. And finally, not to miss any videos at all, that one right there. And you're going to be a part of the Food Traveler in the IE family. That's it, guys. You guys have a great day. Take care and God bless.